I'll tell you, the best way I can give you a, a, an example of what Jamon means to us is I don't think one of us missed a single game he played in when he left. I mean, we were sitting rooting for every single game, watching every snap of him playing. Uh, we couldn't be more excited for him to have that opportunity. Jamon's a tremendous kid, a kid I had an opportunity to mentor, and uh, I couldn't love him more. Um, I mean, I'd say there's a lot of things that are different, you know, in every offense. But I think really for us, it's just the opportunity that um, we really want to give the opportunity to challenge you and multiple people, multiple times all over the field. And so you look at a lot of what we do, we, we really have the opportunity where linebackers in a position where they've got to cover sideline to sideline. And the ball might also be coming right dead at them. And then, you know, the secondary might need to be involved in the run game, and they might have to be really deep for a play action all at the same time. And, and everything looks very similar, but it's all completely different. And, and I think that that's really uh, what we've done a great job of. But to be able to do that, you got to execute. And, and really, uh, you got to give credit to, to Sean and, and our coaching staff and the ability that we've been able to really have a system that not only is a good system, but we execute it at a really high level. Oh, there's no question. I mean, you look at the pieces we have. We were talking about this the other day as an offense. I mean, you look at the receivers and, and the job they do from understanding what we need to do, blocking, pass, you know, when they're running routes, whatever. Um, they just they, – their ability to understand uh, concepts and run game and pass game and everything else, I mean, we really wouldn't have that opportunity without them. I mean, there's a lot of teams in the league that receiver-wise, you just wish, you know, you could get them to be involved in something other than just whether they get the ball. I mean, these guys are involved in every single thing we do. And it takes some special guys to be like that. And, and they are very involved and, and care a whole lot. And you know what? It's fun. I mean, to sit there as a 13-year veteran and have the receivers ask as many questions as they do about the run game and how we can do it better and how they can be involved. And uh, it's just something you, you're proud of, of just the attitude and culture that Sean's created. Uh, yeah, I mean, I think that, uh, you know what, you're, you're only as good as your weakest link. And we've continued to add pieces that have uh, worked out. And, and it's about creating a culture that I think Sean does so well. Um, where everyone feels they're they're important, everyone feels that they're there for a reason, and he is a tremendous motivator in that way. It's he's not, he's not a talker in the sense of motivating; he's an educator, and he teaches you, you know, why your job's so important, why you need to do your job every play, and and uh, his ability to teach and educate is is uh, extremely rare, and, and and you can see it when you see young guys the way we've had over these first two years that have been able to play at skill positions and play really well. Um, you know what? He's just done a tremendous job getting those guys prepared. Uh, there's been a lot of green moments with Jared. Uh, you know what? He's a tremendous kid, and uh, you know he's a question asker. I mean, that's what that's his deal. You know, you look at there's a lot of things about how what people how people are wired. His ability, uh, honestly, that he asks questions, it's funny. I mean, you, you almost sometimes are scared to bring up topics because you know he's going to ask you 7,000 questions. And, and uh, you know what? It's just cool to see how much it means to him to know everything he can know. So if it's about 90s football or 2000s football, you know, he wants to know how did y'all play it then or how did you line up or what was it like, you know. And he just he, you can tell he's a kid who's thirsting for knowledge and it means a lot to him to gain every aspect he can as quickly as he can.